डे स्टूडेंट्स टॉपिक फॉर दिस सेक्शन इज ओपन चैलेंजेस इन क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग सो क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग इज स्टिल इट्स इन इट्स इन्फेंसी क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग प्रेजेंट मेनी चैलेंजेस फॉर द इंडस्ट्री एज वेल एज एकेडेमिया एंड देयर इज अ सिग्निफिकेंट अमाउंट ऑफ वर्क दैट इज डन ऑन द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग सेक्शन सो दैट इज इवॉल्विंग डे बाय डे सो द चैलेंजेस इन द क्लाउड कंप्यूटिंग आर क्लाउड डेफिनेशन क्लाउड इंटरप्रोबिलिटी एंड स्टैंडर्ड्स स्केलेबिलिटी एंड फॉल्ट टॉलरेंस सिक्योरिटी ट्रस्ट एंड प्राइवेसी एंड ऑर्गेनाइजेशनल एस्पेक्ट्स सो वी विल सी दिस चैलेंजेस वन बाय वन फर्स्ट इज क्लाउड डेफिनेशन so uh, as discussed earlier there have been several attempts to um, that have made to define the cloud computing and to provide a classification of all services and technology identified by the cloud computing so according to the nist we have seen the definition of cloud computing and according to the nist there are three services and that services are sws uh, software as a service platform as a service and infrastructure as a service and the nist categorize the deployment model as public private and uh, community and hybrid cloud so this is about the nist but still there are certain definitions uh, that are developed by uh, another organizations like uh, some of the organizations have added the service like x double as that is everything as a service and some of some of uh, the organization have uh, defined the five main layers like application software environment software infrastructure software kernel and hardware so according to that uh, there is no fixed definition of cloud computing and uh, still the definitions are evolving day by day okay so this is about cloud definition next is cloud interoperability and standards okay so cloud computing is a service based model for delivering the it infrastructure and application like like we are using the utilities of power then water and electricity so to fully realize this goal introducing standards and allowing interoperability between solution offered by different vendors are objective of fundamental importance okay so here the vendor lock in Uh, problem is there vendor lock in means if the user is using the service of one cloud provider then he or she cannot change the cloud provider even if if uh, he is not satisfy with the service which is provided by the cloud provider still he is not able to do the changes means he cannot change the cloud provider if, or if he want to uh, change then it is a very lengthy process and it requires significant amount of time and it, it requires the considerable co- conversion cost okay so the uh, presence of standards that are actually implemented and adopted in the cloud computing community could give a room for interoperability then uh, next is scalability and fault tolerance so the ability to scale on demand as we know we can scale according to our demand we can scale down according to our demand so the ability to scale on demand constitute one of the most attractive feature of the cloud computing cloud allows scaling beyond the limits a limit of the existing in house it services okay to implement such a capability cloud middleware has to be designed with the principle of scalability the cloud middleware manages a huge number of resource and users so in this scenario the ability to tolerate fault becomes fundamental sometimes even more important than providing an extremely efficient and optimized system so here it is necessary uh, Uh, either we are scale, uh, scaling our infrastructure still the fault tolerance is also important then next is security trust and privacy so this security trust and privacy uh, 
or the issues or or our uh, major obstacles for massive adoption of cloud computing so the traditional cryptographic technology are used to prevent the data sensitive information and access to the sensitive information so uh, the only the authorized access can access that sensitive information and there is a username and password that is given to the uh, uh, given to that sensitive information this is okay but if we are using virtualization concept as we know virtualization is the fundamental thing in cloud computing so if you are using virtualization technology and if if you are using the application on the virtualized environment then obviously the sensitive information is available to the virtual machine managers okay so that is the threat for this sensitive information so on one side we need to decide whether to trust the provider itself cloud provider itself on the other side specific regulation can simply prevail other over the agreement the provider is willing to establish okay so this is the issues security trust and privacy it is necessary uh, for the cloud provider to provide the security as well as uh, the cloud provider should be trust worthy and it should provide the privacy next is organizational aspects so cloud computing introduces a significant change in the industry also because of we are using the cloud computing services and we have to pay for that so here this introduces the billing module in the organization so in particular a wide acceptance of cloud computing will require a significant change in the business process okay so for that uh, the questions are in mind that what is the new role of it department if we are using the uh, cloud services how will the compliance department perform its activity what are the implications political legal or for organization that lose control over some aspect of their services what will be the perception of the end users of such service so these are the questions are in mind so traditionally when there was a problem with computer system organization developed strategies and solution to cope with them if there is a failure then we can uh, contact with the maintenance manager and that maintenance management uh, maintenance staff will uh, remove the faults and failure in our computer but because of this uh, cloud computing services as we are using the it infrastructures and services of the cloud so it reduces the uh, reduces the cost related to the maintenance and support so because of that as a result users of such infrastructures and services lose a reference to deal with the it troubleshooting at the same time the existing it staff is required different kind of competency it requires fewer skill than the traditional computing okay so uh, uh, obviously this reduces the value of the employee okay so these are the challenges in the cloud computing cloud definition then cloud interoperability and standards scalability and fault tolerance security trust and privacy and organizational aspects okay so thank you so much